Hello all, welcome to the PCAP to XML and SQLite training series at Pentester Academy. Now in this video, we are going to look at querying with SQLite. So for this one, let me actually take up a larger PCAP file. Uh, we do have other samples as well. And one of them is around 50 megs which seems to be a decent sized file. So let's use this. Now, the option to basically parse and get an output for a SQLite file, if you recall, is hyphen S. So once we get the sample PCAP file, hyphen S, let's call this capture.db. Right, there we go. This is a 50 meg file, but you can see the tool is processing it quite fast. We've actually added a ton of optimizations from a SQLite perspective to ensure that the parsing and dumping can be as fast as possible. You probably keep refining it. Uh, for a 50 meg PCAP with all the parsing and metadata extraction, I think 25 second is pretty decent, right? It's almost like half a second per meg. Okay, fantastic. So if we go back in here, you should be able to see captured.db, right around 30 megs in size. This is simply because we are only extracting the Mac header for now and not the other headers, which of course, later versions of the tool will support in which case, the capture.db file would be much larger. Now let's open up this database, capture.db. There we go. Here is our data. And here is, you can see it's almost a quarter million packet entries in here, 248.383. And now let's actually apply some SQLite queries. Now in the GitHub repo, you should see a sample SQL queries.txt file. This is what we're going to use right now to look at some sample queries. Now the first one of course is to find all distinct MAC addresses in the PCAP. Let's copy this query, go to the execute SQL tab and execute the query. And there you go. If you notice we have 86 distinct MACs. Now keep in mind, this is a different file uh, on which we are operating with respect to the last one where we did the XML queries, right? These two are different capture files. And of course, in the distinct Mac, you're going to have all Fs as well, um, unless you specifically mention to ignore that through the query. Okay, the next one is select all distinct Mac addresses for a given address field, right? So in this case, we've taken address one as that address field. Go in here. And we seem to have 86 rows, which go ahead and satisfy this condition. Now, similarly, how about unique Mac addresses, which are sending out beacon frames, right? All APs would be captured in here. So it seems like there are 16 unique AP MAC addresses in here. Hmm, quite interesting in a 50 MAC file. Now, as you can clearly see, Wireshark would never have been able to give you all of the statistics, right? And this is where you're slowly, probably, I, I really do hope, appreciating the value of PCAP2, XML and SQLite. Now, apart from this, you can even look at all Macs receiving a data frame. This could be interesting. You know, if you'd like to further work with the actual frames and try to see if you can find any unencrypted data. So you can see that there are around 18 here as well. And then we can do other fun stats like the average frame length. seems to be around 194.3 bytes or the interpacket time. 
right now the last one is accomplished as you can see using a join right this is just to illustrate how much power you have once you convert a pcap into a sqlite file there you go now we're going to have around 248 you know 382 rows in there with the inter packet time and you can clearly see how fast all of this processing has actually happened fantastic so i hope you enjoyed this video and you saw a quick demo of what all you can do once you have a pcap file converted into a sqlite format so that's all in mind uh, that's all i have in mind for this video if you've enjoyed the video or your time at pentester academy please recommend us to your friends and colleagues in the infosec community thank you and have a great day ahead bye bye